Dear students, please note down. These notes are available in the description of video. Please download your notes. In today's lecture, we will discuss some important terms, definitions of ecology. In today's lecture, we will clear what is environment, climate, weather, habitat, microhabitat, and very important term that is ecological niche. Dear students, in today's lecture, which is important topic of ecology, first of all, we will discuss environment. Environment, it is the sum total of a biotic and abiotic and biotic factors, substances, conditions which surround and influence the organisms. Not down environment, it is the sum total of all abiotic and biotic factors, conditions, substances which surround and influence the organisms. Some components of environment act as regulatory factors and some components act as resources. Two very important terms, weather and climate. Not down the differences between weather and climate. This weather it is a short term property of the atmosphere while this climate it is long term property of the atmosphere point number second weather changes from place to place but this climate that remains constant it remains same over a larger area next point the weather it shows changes time to time Dear students, it changes, this weather changes place to place as well as it, it changes time to time. But climate remains constant over a long period of time. Weather changes with changes in any of the atmospheric factor or conditions. But the climate doesn't change. In with the changes in atmospheric factors conditions it remains same as the climate represents the average of the factors and conditions next point changes in weather very important point very important point point number fifth is changes in weather shows a little impact on flora and fauna of a particular area but not down the climate changes because climate determines the flora and fauna of a geographical area. Very important term that is habitat. It may be defined as specific place or locality occupied by an organism, by a population, by a community and it may be as small as a burrow like earthworm lives in a burrow the earthworm it is fossorial bark of tree that is a habitat it may be as large as a pond lake river ocean forest desert grassland cropland all are habitat, the living place, microhabitat. It may be defined as the subdivision of, it is a subcomponent of, it means this habitat is further divided into subparts. It is a subdivision of habitat having different environmental conditions and having different organisms. Microhabitat like forest floor, tree canopy, below a tree, the atmosphere, the conditions are different, the organisms are different. Muddy bottom, surface of a pond, burrow, center of pond, all these are micro habitat. And in today's lecture, very important term that is 
इकोलॉजिकल नेस्ट एन आई सी एच ई दिस टर्म इकोलॉजिकल नेस्ट दैट वॉज क्वाइंड बाय ग्राइनल इन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी इट मीन्स टू नेस्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू ओडम ही स्टेटेड इन नाइनटीन फिफ्टी नाइन द ओडम ही स्टेटेड दैट दिस हैबिटेट इट इज an address of an organism the habitat that is address of an organism according to odom while this ecological niche and i c h e it is profession of an organism ecological niche has a specific part of habitat that is occupied by an organism which represents the range of tolerance that represents the range of movements of organism that represents microclimate as well as it represents type of food availability availability of food the shelter type of predators etc this ecological niche having three aspects one is spatial or habitat niche and this spatial niche that defines the actual physical space occupied by an organism that is spatial niche which represents the actual the space which is occupied by an organism second component of this ecological niche that is trophic niche trophic that defines the functional position the spatial it defines the actual physical space occupied by an organism but this trophic niche it represents the functional position of an organism and the third aspect of this ecological niche that is multi dimensional or it is hyper volume niche that represents the position of organism in the environmental gradients dear students these are some different differences between habitat or it is an address of organism and ecological niche or profession what kind of activities played by an organism habitat it is a specific place that area that place where a community organism a population resides while this ecological niche it is an ec ecological component this ecological niche is an ecological component of habitat which is delimited by functioning of organism this ecological niche which is a component of habitat in which what kind of physical activities functional activities played by an organism this habitat has a number of ecological niche habitat may possesses it may possesses a number of ecological niche not down but niche doesn't have any components dear students please note down the habitat in which number of ecological niche number of may present but ecological niche has no components point number next habitat sports a number of species but very important point number third that is the ecological niche always sports a single species in number of environmental variations in this habitat environmental factors may vary different environmental variations may occur in a habitat but not down in this ecological niche there is a definite set of environment no changes in environmental
factors in this ecological niche and a species doesn't change its habitat it means in this habitat a particular species that never changes its habitat throughout its life cycle it remains in the same habitat but not down a species may live in more than one ecological niche during different stages of its life cycle what are the conclusions drawn from the ecological niche this shows that no two species can occupy same ecological niche no down dear students in one ecological niche only this ecological niche a particular ecological niche always supports a particular species no two different species can live together in an ecological niche if two different species live together automatically one species will be excluded and only one species survive and this is very important principle this principle is named as it is gauss principle it is known as principle of competitive exclusion dear students ecological niche always supports one species if two species are present together only one species will survive while the other members of a species automatically will be excluded this is gauss principle this is principle of competitive exclusion what are the significance of ecological niche it helps in avoiding intense competition for the place of living organism this is all about environment weather climate habitat microhabitat and important term that is ecological niche